Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be fixing my Microsoft Surface Pen that I use with my Microsoft Surface Pro 4 and replacing it with the official Microsoft tips that I purchased on Amazon for about $20. What happened with this pen is that somehow the tip got broken. As you can see, this black thing that normally covers the tip has really kind of deteriorated. And I think that's because it was placed in a bag and somehow the force of that bag on this pen to straight the tip. So apparently you have to be very careful with these. Now, if I show you the replacement tips, they are very similar to the tip that's already there. There are a lot of different replacement tips that you can buy for this service pen, but I decided to opt for the official Microsoft tips because I didn't want to have to worry about them breaking really easily. It was about five to 10 more dollars to buy the official ones. Plus I also got a nice carrying case. Plus I got three tips instead of one or two, which the other offerings had. So I'm going to quickly show you the problem that I was having with this. If I just write something out, as you can see, it already missed that stroke on the M. It missed a lot of strokes with the I. It even missed some strokes when I was doing that circle. And it really, I think, depends on the angle that you have the pen at. But whenever you're trying to do regular handwriting, like you're trying to work out a math problem or take notes in class, this can be very annoying. Since I had the angle right, most of that was okay. You can see when you're coming from the top, it gets really bad. I've seen a lot of other people having this problem and they all recommended that I pick up this. So today we're gonna replace this tip on the pen with one of these and see if it improves or fixes the handwriting problems that I've been having. <laughs> So let's first get this container open. I could probably actually yeah, just pull it out like that. And I believe that it does have a removal device included. I'm actually not completely sure. Maybe I should actually open this up so I can see the instructions. <laughs> It just says use your fingers, tweezers, or small pliers to gently remove the old tip. So since I don't have any pliers right now, I'm just gonna try to use my fingers. Obviously it's already broken, so you can really just pull that. If this was a tip that was not broken, I would not recommend you do something like that because it looks like it probably did damage the tip a bit. It looks like the B is the finest and the 2H is the least fine tip. So I'm gonna start out with the finest tip that they have. And it looks like probably just stick it into the surface pen like that. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty sturdy in there. Does this work? It does work. If I try to write from the top, it is not perfect. It did miss a bit of a stroke when I was doing that T and it looks like it also missed a stroke with the P, but that might just be how I was writing. Let's do a pressure sensitivity test. So this is low. As you can see, I added more pressure with the W. That looks pretty darn good. I'm do a bit of a scribble here. My handwriting is terrible as you've probably noticed and plus I cannot draw to save my life but I'll just do a little house. Don't judge me. It looks like that actually fixed the problem and it was incredibly simple. It does still skip a bit. That might just be characteristic of the type of point that they are using. It's very accurate. I think the problem is that this is gray right here. With the old tip, the plastic sheathing that was supposed to protect that gray all kind of got destroyed. I'm gonna see if I can remove this tip now. Very simple to remove. And I'm gonna replace it with the second. So if I place this one in now, all it does is do a little click. Okay, I like this one more. This one is a lot firmer. It's almost like you are writing on glass. The pressure works just as you would expect it to also. Okay, I think that this one actually is a lot better. Because it's a bit harder, it seems like I do not miss as often. Can even do some shading here. It looks like it does go down pretty far at an angle. Very good, I actually just remove it like that and then get the last one in here. Pop it in just like that. Now this tip almost kind of reminds me of the Apple Pencil, the way that it has the same contour as the rest of the pen. Okay, I like this one also. So this one is actually considerably louder than the other ones, but something like scribbling for this is a lot easier. It just kind of lights a lot more on the screen, whereas the other ones tended to kind of stick a bit more. It wasn't bad, but it was a lot more sticky. This is literally all plastic, whereas the other ones had that gray kind of membrane. And I think that that's also where this tip failed. So maybe using something like the 2H tip would be a bit more durable. I'm not sure about that. It might be. 
pressure also works as it is expected to. Just draw a quick house. It does work perfectly fine at all angles. Actually, I would say that the other tip was probably a bit more reliable at the steep inclines. So you might want to consider using the HB tip if you are an artist. If you just do a lot of handwriting, I don't know, maybe this 2H tip is the one that I will keep on the pen. You can also do like a stick person. It's the only thing that I can draw. Give them some hair, give them some ears and a nose. Now you can just remove this one to get your fingers in there and what's nice about this is that you can color code the tips back into where they were so if you are done using them you're not going to lose them and i think that i'm going to keep the second to last tip on here because this was honestly my favorite writing experience. I wish that they would have included some removal tool, but it looks like just using your fingers are perfectly fine as long as you're not biting into the tip because then that might harm it. So with that said, guys, thank you all for watching this video. I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.